Do, do, do. Oh, my chair's squeaky. It's not going to be helpful. Do, do, do. Hello. Hello, everyone. We'll see how this goes. We'll see how this goes. What's up? Hi. Ranger Liz here. I've got a webcam here, and I've got, like, the stream here and the stream here and we're just we're gonna be a little bit of all over everywhere hey guys we're talking about this basically because my daughter's taking a nap and just life's been kind of crazy and haven't gotten to record and i wanted to make sure i got something up because be killing me if i didn't get anything up until wednesday i would i would die that would that would simply be it so we are going to talk about this amazing comic right here mighty Morphin power rangers number 27 it's been out for like a week, not quite a full week yet, so I'm not slacking too much, too much. What's up? What's up? Doing good. This is a different view for you guys, and I, I'm rapidly realizing how much I need to, uh, like, WD-40 my chair because it's so squeaky, but I am in a new back, a uh, new area, moving some stuff around. My desk is facing a different wall, setting up a new area to record. Don't know how... Uh, how good it'll be, I guess, by the time it's all done. But I'm working and working, and hopefully uh, for the Ranger Re Community Review Friday, you guys are going to have a really cool new background. And I don't know, I'm working on some stuff. I'm working on just some, I've been doing this for, you know, quite a few months now. I feel like I need some, some newer stuff. So let's get into it, though, because, oh my goodness, it's, it's such a good book. It's such a good book. I'm starting off with this, right? See this, his his shield? Right here, and by the way, this is full spoilers and whatever. This right here, that was not in the original artwork. It was just, it was it was pretty much everything else. But it was not this shield because they showed this originally. Hey, what's up? They showed this originally uh, before issue 25 came out. So before any of the stuff with Tommy, and this probably been a little bit of a, a spoiler. Or maybe not. I mean, he's worn it before. You'd probably wonder why. Why? But that's how right. We start off. It's crazy when you think, guys, how fast. And I'm just going to need to, like, reread everything at once because how fast it just goes boom, boom, boom. Like, it's, it, you know, it's a month between comics for us. But, but, but for them in it, it was, what, three, four days had passed after Tommy had passed, and then, you know, they get Lauren Sheba, and that is more or less where we pick up, except for the Spike part, Spike, <laughs> so you can tell this is, this is what you get when it's like, it's not Spike, it's Skull, Spike's daddy, but in this world, he, right there, why it's been worth old Skull here, keeping his cover, are you... Are you kidding me? He's been undercover this whole time. That's he's ah. Oh, it just it just makes you love Bulk and Skull even more in these comics. If that's the thing, let's see. Uh, Josh just read MMPR 27 Go Go Night Annual last night. Man, you had you had a really good night then last night. Friggin' best, absolutely. I've never even read the comics. Ah. Oh. That's all right. That's all right. Watch these. Get caught up. You can still enjoy the story. Uh, reading them's fine, but you can still enjoy the story because it's such it's such an amazing story. Just overall, that's going on right now in these comics. They're you know trying. They got to break the leader, and of course they're talking about right now to start off the leader of the coinless, and that's Zach. That's old school Zach. That's basically all you get in the front page here. But some some have the tide. The tide, guys, is starting to turn. I feel it. I feel it. The dragons, you know, he's that wave. He's just he's gonna smash him down, smash him down. But this this is the book that gives me hope because I go everything looks so bleak. Maybe they're just gonna lose. Maybe August rolls around, guys, for the last issue, and maybe they all lose. That that could happen. Another thing I want to point out. With this book, and it's something that I just love in general that we didn't get to see in the TV show very much, but we do get to see uh, in this, and that is Zordon right here. He's not, like, he gets to go places. Like, what are they, they're in, I don't know, maybe that's like their danger room. 
or whatever. But it's, I like that he gets to go other places. And the rangers get to sit. Like, it's a couch. You never just see the rangers just chilling and their stuff on the couch. You know? All right. Here they are. They're assessing the situation. This has got to be right after they get Lauren. I mean, she's still wearing, like, the, the rescue blanket. Uh, thanks for stopping by, Cody. But they're hanging out, and Jen, Jen's got, Jen's got to do what Jen's got to do. And what does Jen do? Uh, guys, they're attacking everything. Sweet. Sweet. So they're attacking everywhere. And this is the line where Sasha says, everywhere. Wait, 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 wait. Wah. There we go. I'm still working. This is a new setup. Like, I'm, I don't know, like, if I'm going to go this way or this way. I'm all, I'm all sorts of set up. Messed up. Pokemon Pokemon Power Rangers. I would take Pokemon Power Rangers. I have a shirt, actually, that's the, the mashup of the two. Zordon sends out, and now I think this happens, yeah, this has got to happen before uh, the free comic book day one with, you know, Rita and the, but Zordon sends out a message to basically every dimension he can possibly get, just saying, uh, hey, you're all being attacked. Sorry, my name's Zordon. Just try to defend yourself. Oh, oh, and defend your morphers while you're at it. Not that they probably understand why, which, again, hey, shout out back to Hyperforce, because when JDF was on it, what was he trying to do? He's trying to grab Marv's morpher. And that is why. And we have this amazing full, it isn't even full page, just a full open on display of the big blue head himself right here. All of these different teams. That he is reaching out to. He's reaching out to in space. He's reaching out to Ninja. I, it's it's really cool. And a lot of these two are the ones that we saw them in the annual. Which, yeah, if you just read uh, the annual. Um, and I, it doesn't really spoil too much or whatever. But you'll actually get to see a lot more about some of these rangers. That you do get to see. And you get to see a bit more about uh, Ninja Steel. You get to see more about in space. Here's here's one that I want though, and that's just it's the why aren't the dinosaurs fighting Lord Draken? Right? Here 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 they are. Here are the ninja or the ninja steel, the Dino Charge Rangers. Where where is the Tyrannosaurus Rex in the the Santa hat? Remember from the the Christmas episode? I demand the T Rex with the Santa hat fighting lord draken it just it's just it's what needs to happen basically they have no idea if they got the message or not but zordon sent it and that's it's like that's all you can do that's all you can do is at least give them the heads up but they get something they get something great they get something great and it's great for me of course because i love dr k and dr k is back dr k is back in the form of first you gotta love the like hollow whatever thing she goes she's on the morpher uh she she reaches out and remember she if you haven't read the annual she does they are in the annual and it's kind of a continuation of that story or whatnot but dr k's a good guy she's a real good guy and she basically says hey guys might have a little information for you that you'd like uh, our city's been under attack for the last eight hours however my rangers have been able to mostly hold the line here's the first thing jen goes uh uh oh wait hold on i have to show there was a message helpful review lord dragon is evil as shit i had to, I had to make sure i proved that one <laughs> yeah he is yeah he is she, uh, it, this is how she words with it. Oh, those pesky little things. Like, what? What? Ranger Operating Series Green. Gotta love the gotta love the little nod there. Was able to recover one, and she is now able to get their suits, their biomechanical everything, to have been able to counteract it. Her Rangers are safe. If this is the first. That is like the first glimmer of hope that I had. That I was like, okay. Okay, maybe, maybe this is how, you know, team by team by team or how, however they have to do it. But Dr. K is going to come through with them. But 
that transmission is like cut off, but they get another one. Okay, and, and as much as they were hoping, oh, it's gonna be Dr. K, we gotta get, we gotta figure out how to get these uh, dragon cannons to, to no longer, you know, like wipe out all of our ranger powers. They get another one, and it's that guy, that guy right there, that is Zack, that is Coinless World Zack, leader of the coin. Oh, my chair's, my chair's spinning, guys, this is... <sighs> I'm not talking about Paw Patrol. This is nice. It is Zach, and he gives him coordinates and basically says, we have an idea. And uh, our base is scattered. We think we have a way to beat him. Okay. All right, Zach, we'll pay attention. So that is two different coordinates, two different dimensions, two different possible ways we are gonna maybe 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 we can get defeat Lord Drake and the entity. How is everyone say today? My day is going well. How is your day going so far? It could be it could be morning. It could be night. I'm not really sure. Like if you're in the UK, it could be like in your jammy jams right now. Create facial story. Ten rangers who have the power of ten specific legendary Pokemon from different regions. All right, all right, that's cool. Ooh, I don't feel like I would get the. They already do the moves. I don't know if and you guys watched the. Pokemon very much, but this is a small sidetrack. But when they do their Z moves, they're like the wah, wah. I'm not, I'm not Pikachu. I can't do it. But it'd be really cool to see them because they already know how to do Tokusatsu moves. So yes, Power Rangers and Pokemon. They, uh, they have to split up at this point because they know that Rangers are out there getting their butts kicked, and they know that Zack has an idea, Doctor K has an idea, and so here we go. Uh, the Rangers split up. We have Jason and J J Jaden. No, not not Jaden. Lauren, Lauren and Jason are heading to Corinth, and it is. Austin <laughs> wasn't kidding. You're a total Power Rangers nerd. Yes, that's. I am a. I'm a huge Power Ranger nerd. They split up, so yeah, yeah. Jason and Lauren are heading to go save Dr. K. You have the ones who went back to the Coinless World. That is Billy, Zach, and Trini are going to be going to the Coinless World and see what's going on. And then that is going to lead, uh, what do we got? Kim. Have I already lost track of the rest of the Rangers? Jen and Kim. I was like, I know Kim can go by herself. Jen and Kim, which I hope... Next up, next issue, next episode. I really hope they get a show more of uh, of that one because they don't really get to show it as much in it. They morph on out, but before they go to their specific things, you finally catch up. You gotta catch up a little bit with Lord Draken. You know he's not just sitting down doing nothing. Oh wait, might be the best frame of Lord Draken. And I'm sorry, this is. I mean, I'm on my webcam today, so this is not the best with focusing. So I apologize for that. Just him sitting there. This is, let me do my best Lord Dragon impersonation with, I have a bottle, I have a build bottle. I can't, I can't even slouch enough, guys. There you go. But he's not looking at just anything, he's looking at the Zeo Red Crystal. Ah. And here Finster thinks he's savoring a moment, and this is something else that uh, you'll read in the annual if you've gotten a chance to read it. But he does spend some extra time in the Zeo era trying to figure out why people just love Tommy so much. I'll tell you, there are definitely some people who've wondered that for, for everything, but... Uh, He's going to add it to the others. He's going to get a lot more power-ups. Now, we've mentioned this before. When Draken gets a, a, a morpher, and these were the uh, crystals that were part of the Zeo morpher. So if you're wondering, you're like, well, it's a crystal, but it doesn't morpher. It's a... Later, guys. Uh, Steelbooks, I will get... Actually, I will get... I'll get to have a Steelbook set, though, in just a second. But uh, he is ready. He's going to do some more awesome power-ups. But it's just... It's just funny because you know people. Some people love Tommy. Some people just hate Tommy. And it's just when he goes, no, they do hold their Tommy on a pedestal for no reason I can discern. Perhaps it's love. There's nothing to love about him. It doesn't make any sense. Now, I love. I mean, I I love Tommy for numerous reasons. I, I love Tommy because every single season, they they try to change him around to like something completely. He was a he was a race car driver. He wanted to be Native American. And he, you know, he just he did what the show needed him to do, and that's. Uh, but 
But he gets stopped really quick before uh, the one where he gets word on the street. Not on the word on the street, word on the front line. The black dragon cannons are working, and he gets this, this look. I don't care if I'm talking about anime. I don't care if I'm talking about a manga or a comic. You see that smile? You see this smile on a baddie? It's gonna go down. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. Right after, he's like, "I'm gonna take care of this one myself." After, after the next power transfer. So, boom. Real quick before I talk about this, the fact that they get a ride around the T-Rex or it is is awesome. Uh, Mikhail asks, what do you think of the 25th anniversary Power Rangers Steelbook DVD set? Do you think it's worth getting? Because to be honest, I don't think it is. <sighs> if, if you don't have any of them yet and you've been thinking about getting a whole set, it's, it's a beautiful set. If you're going to display... Um, it's like Josh said, you know, he pre-ordered it, but he's an avid steelbook collector. If you are a steelbook collector, if you were going to display it, it's pricey, but it's kind of cool for what it is. I like the fact that they're going to have the uh, movie included in it in Blu-ray, but, uh, you know, if it, it's a tough pill to swallow because there's a lot of people who have put a lot of money into them numerous times that they've released it and so for those fans it's kind of tough and i think sales might hurt because of it but you know i'm i'm always happy to be wrong power ranger you know power ranger fans we, we surprise each other all the time me personally no uh i am not going to be pick it up uh picking it up <sighs> It's just, I don't, right now I have Netflix and stuff, and that's how I watch it. You know, if when one day I do need to purchase them all, maybe be something I pick up. But for right now, that's, it's definitely a, it's a kind of an easier pass on me. Uh, I actually have the MMPR Movie Morpher White Ranger Edition for Toys R Us. Yeah, those things, these are, those are really nice. Uh, okay, let's get back to the comic, though, because if I get done with this, and we still have time, my daughter doesn't woke up from her nap, I'd be happy to, like, keep chatting because how often do i actually get to do this right they land they land in a bit of sand they can't get right into corinth because there is a 10 mile radius all around it which is fantastic i mean it's not okay of course it is they can't teleport like in or out of it but they <laughs> took the t-rex that's that's amazing, and I love Lauren's little just thing, like, oh, I always did want to ride in a dinosaur. Uh, Jason, we do get we do get an awesome, um, and I, okay, I don't want to, I don't want to bend, you know, it's with comics, you really want to bend it, but look at these, if you bend these pages side by side, sorry about that, that is Lord's Dragons versus uh, Jason's, and it, when you see it, you know, you know, Stuff's going to happen. You know stuff's going to go down. But this time it's Jason. I, I want to see, like, Lorne with the sword. Jason with the sword. It's a, you know, they, <laughs> they're in the Megazord together. And this is one of the first things you hear is, like, so, uh, been a ranger for long? Like, what do you do? What do you talk about? You're like, so... You're also a Power Ranger from another. Th I'm getting so I'm, I drop my I drop my comic. Drop my comics. Like what? What do you talk about? They talk a little bit about becoming Rangers, pressures, responsibilities. It's yeah, it's really cool. And then you know I look down and I'm like, oh oh, it was so cool. Like hey, I fight literal demons for a living. The two of them interacting with each other, both at that teenage old you know young adult but with so much responsibility on them both red rangers it was really cool just getting that little interaction with them uh in the meantime let's jump to the coinless world where we find them is this the right place it matches where are we <gasps> this is the juice bar apparently in the coinless world they left it up basically is a weird sort of reminder trophy uh, they're so glad to see oh the coin list this is great everyone's where's where's everyone at this is it there there's not a lot of people there this is this is like it and um 
later. Dylan, thanks for hanging out. Speaking of, my daughter's making a fuss, so we'll see how long. Uh, maybe, maybe she'll just join me for a bit, but she has a plan. <laughs> she has a plan. They have a plan now because look who, well, I don't see him anywhere, but basically Spike's been undercover. Spike is now out of being undercover, and he has joined the Resistance, the Coinless, and he is getting ready to tell them how they think they can defeat Lord Draken. But before that, you know what these Rangers are? They have reached Corinth, getting to see, this is, this is literally, this guy this is a page of action. It's just imagining the Rangers fighting. Uh, it's so good. And seeing Kaboom, the giant T-Rex, showing up, taking out everything. You think, uh, you think, yeah, maybe, maybe they got this. Except there's a big problem. You see, uh, they, they talk, they talk to Dr. K. Right, right here, right here. I'm really bad with this, guys. They talk to Dr. K. Uh, you shouldn't be out here, blah, blah, blah. <sighs> Let me show you the last page real quick, and then I'm going to get up and her. This is a problem. Guys, this is a problem. Take this in. Just take this in. Take this in, and I will be right back. Can I even get this to prop up right here? No, probably not. Okay. One. Say hi to the people in the computer real quick. Hi. Oh, hi. So this is this is my daughter. She just woke up from her nap. Last page. Do you want to look at the last page with me? <sighs> Draken, Dra Draken did not bring the knife to the the gun fight. He he brought the tanks. He brought, have you, have you guys noticed who all in? Those are Psycho Rangers. That's Korag and the Ace Squad. And Lord Draken, who now has another power-up. Oh, yes. The Zeo. I'm, I can tell in the shield. The Zeo. He has powers. Guys, he has so many more powers. It's been, hi. Hi. Are you? No, let's not play with that. Draken's ready to take down Dr. K. He's, I'm, I'm ready to see this fight because the Rangers are going to be able to stay morphed. They're going to be able to fight. But it's like, I mean, maybe one, two, three, four, five, six, seven on seven. Maybe seven on seven. Maybe seven on seven. Maybe not. Who knows? Are you, do you think they're doomed? I I kind of do. Final it's Dragon's me. final form is just gonna be nuts. Or do you think I should stop? Well, this is uh yeah. So if you ever guys ever wonder, what is uh how do you balance trying to do Ranger stuff on YouTube and being a mom? It's like this. It's like this. So you know what? Here, do you wanna get down and go look out the window? Do you wanna go look out the window? Or a Ranger key? She likes she also likes wizard rings. That she's not going to play with very often. So, I think I bought myself a minute. Guys, thank you so much if you stuck around until the end of all of this. I really appreciate you guys hanging out with me on a random afternoon like this. I'd love to be able to do more live streams. And I'm working on it. I worked. I got a new light. And I can't, can't tell. But, uh, yeah, yeah. Follow me on social medias. All that jazz. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you are digging Shatter Grid because you know I am... It's going to be a blast. It's going to be a blast. We have a lot more comics to go, guys. I will see you, if nothing else, on Friday at the Ranger Week and the Toku Week in Review. Can you say bye? She waved. Bye, guys. Toodles.